Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this video, I'll show you how to add the menu items for the mobile version. So here we can see we have created this menu icon and when we click on the menu icon, we want the menu items of the mobile version to be displayed over here. We will do that in this video. Let's get started. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to create a frame. So I'll just duplicate this frame. So I just press Option or if you're using Windows, you can just press Alt and drag this over here. And now we have one more frame with the same height and width. Now let's delete all of these elements from here. So we don't need any of these. And let's delete all of these. And we'll also change the background color. So let's select this frame and uh, let's change the background color to a light color. So I'll just select this one right here. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to change this menu icon into a close icon. So let's double click over here and uh, inside this frame, we have these two rectangles. So we'll just change the rotation of the first rectangle and uh, let's set it to 45 degrees. And let's select the second rectangle and uh, let's set the rotation to negative 45 degrees. And now we need to bring this rectangle to the top. So we cannot drag it right now because uh, we are using auto layout. So let's select this and uh, let's remove the auto layout. So I'll just click on ungroup. And now let's select these rectangles and let's position this correctly and now let's select both of these rectangles and now if we add auto layout it will again go to the same place so first of all we need to change this into a vector so let's right click over here and click on flatten all right now we can see this is a single shape and we don't have two rectangles over here we just have one vector so here we have width and height in points so let's change this to 18 Right now let's add the auto layout for the padding. So let's press shift A and uh, let's set the padding to four pixels. And let's bring it to the center. And from the right, we will have a gap of 30 pixels. So let's bring it over here to the right. Right now, the next thing we need to do is add all the menu items. So if you go over here to the rest of version, we have these menu items over here. So let's double click and I'll just drag it over here into this uh, smartphone frame and we also need to change the name of this frame so let's just change the name of this frame to smartphone menu items and here we have all these menu items so I'll just bring all of these one below the other so I'll just select this and bring it down over here and we will have a gap of 30 pixels and let's bring this down here and uh, we also need to bring this search icon and we'll also add the search field over here so let's scroll up and uh, let's copy this search field and let's duplicate it and bring it over here and we need to bring this inside this nav items group so let's just drag it and bring it over here and now let's bring this uh, search icon over here and i'll just bring it to the top and we'll also bring both of these over here to the right and now let's bring this uh, nav items group inside our frame and from the left we will have a gap of let's try 50 pixels and now let's bring this search input field to the left so we will have a gap of 30 pixels from the left so let's move it over here to the left and let's decrease the width of this search input field so let's select this rectangle and let's decrease the width and from the right we will have a gap of 30 pixels And I think we can decrease the font size of this uh, placeholder. So let's change the font size and uh, let's try 18 pixels or let's try 20 pixels. And I think that looks all right. Right now let's select this uh, cursor and this text. And uh, from the left, we will have a gap of 24 pixels. And we'll also decrease the height of this uh, rectangle. Let's bring this over here to the top. Right now let's bring the search icon so it is right here let's bring it over here to the left and uh, let's move it inside the search box group and from the right we will have a gap of 24 pixels and let's bring it to the center all right that's it with the menu items of the smartphone version now let's add the prototype and uh, let's add the animation when we click on this menu icon so for that we have to go to prototype and let's select this uh, icon 
and let's drag this over here to this frame and here we have this pop-up so let's select on click and instead of navigate to let's choose open overlay and then here we have the animation so let's choose a different animation so let's choose move in and we want it to move in from the right and let's change the easing to slow right now let's close this and uh, let's add the action for the close button so let's click on this and uh, let's click and drag it over here to close overlay right now let's see whether it works so let's click on this frame and uh, let's click on present and here we have our screen so let's click on this menu icon and we have the mobile menu items displayed over here and let's click on the close icon and it goes back so everything is working all right all right so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day